Hey guys, I was going to show you sort of the normal clip video that I usually do, but I haven't really had enough time to do that lately. I was out of town, not last weekend, but the weekend before that for Amanda Starrett's bachelorette party, and then last weekend I was doing some stuff with my sister, and yeah, time just sort of got away from me, and I have a job, and thanks, and a board meeting tomorrow night, so this is probably going to go up, like now instead of tomorrow. Technically I'll just schedule it or something. But instead of doing that I decided to grab some just random items that kind of show you guys what I have going on in my life right now and things that I like since I'm not around you guys and you get a lovely view of my front door and blanket ladder and no more where is it? No more tree because it was starting to smell funny so now it lives on my deck so we'll see if it survives being outside. It's actually kind of doing better outside than it was inside, but anyway, here are a few of my favorite things. And no, I'm not going to sing, because no one wants me to. This is a candle that I bought at the Tower Dollar section. It's Safari something or other. can't really read it. But it smells really good, and I realized after I bought it that I don't have a lighter right now, and I can't like drive somewhere to buy one. So, all I can do is smell it. I can't actually light it. So I'll probably be getting a lighter soon so I can actually light this, but eventually I'll burn this and it will smell delicious and fruity. Um, this is the book I'm reading right now. It is by Frederick Bachman. Bachman? Something like that. Bachman sounds better to me, but I don't know. He is a Scandinavian author, so this is a translated book. But I've also read his book, A Man Named Ove, and it was really good, and so far this one's really good. The main character is a seven-year-old whose grandma dies, and she has to, like, go on adventures to do what her grandmother asked her to do after she, in her will. And she really loves Harry Potter and is a bit of a nerd. And her mom doesn't seem to pay attention to the fact that she's getting bullied in school, which is sad, but I'm not, I'm only about this far into it. So I assume if it's as good as A Man Named Ove, I'll really like it. So you guys should check the, both of those books out. This is my phone, which you don't need to see. This is my favorite necklace right now. It's pretty, and it's from the loft, and it only matches like two things that I own, so I never get to wear it. This is my pencil case that I take to work. It is technically a makeup bag, but I found it on clearance. And it was perfect size for pencils. And I just want to show you... This is my favorite mechanical pencil right now. I used to use a drafter's pencil, but this is just a normal mechanical pencil that I got at Target, but it's metal, so it'll last a lot longer, and since I mean, you really don't need more than one mechanical pencil, unless you lose them a lot. And this is a 0.7 millimeter lead, so it's a little smaller than most standard pencil leads, so you can get a sharper line. I also have this mechanical pencil, but it has colored lead in it, because sometimes that's fun to draw with. And that's dead gel pen. I don't know why that's still in there. Now I'm gonna have to go find that gel pen later since so I just threw it. And then I have this gel pen, gold gel pen that I use for a lot of stuff. And that's pretty much all that's in there. I also have these black pens that are so good. Disposable fountain pens that I like to draw in because my really nice fancy drawing pen has started leaking. Or fountain pen has started leaking. Which is unfortunate because it was expensive. And I'm hoping, I haven't tried yet, but I'm hoping that if I clean it out all the way and refill it, it'll stop leaking. But I also have this notebook, which I like because it has a hard leather cover, but it has a really soft, like, fabric spine, so you can open it up really flat without breaking the spine. Like, you can go like that and not have to worry about it. But this is my bullet journal. I'll just show you. I'll show you last week so you can see why I haven't been recording videos. Because, like, I write every all my to-dos and my week of stuff on one page, so that way I can balance out how much I have going on versus how much I need to get done that week. So, like, this week, for example, I had a lot of stuff I needed to get done, and then I was gone all weekend. So, yeah. And I also have in here random things, like this is all the washi tape that I own, which is ridiculous because I never use it. Um, this is a packing list and a list of packages that I'm waiting for to, to deliver, which 
I mainly made because I got drunk and ordered stuff on Wish that I should not have. Monthly calendar. Do do do. This is for my cross stitch project. It marks off what sections I have done. So everything in gold is what I finished. Everything in white is what I had to do, which is actually what I'm working on right now before I started filming this. So that's where it is right now. I guess you could also consider this an object. And then this thing is a needle holder. That you, it's magnetic. You can stick things to it like these are scissors. Oh. Okay, not that strong of a magnet, but you can put needles on it. So if you need to stop, you don't have to stick it in your fabric. But yeah. And it's on a little frame. It's much bigger than it looks on this frame because I have it rolled up so much. Um, this is my sketchbook sketchbook. It is one that I got on clearance at Target by Modern by Dwell Magazines. Because I think no one was buying them. Probably because they're... It's an unlined notebook. It's not really sketchbook paper. It's writing paper, but they didn't line it. So people that like nope, notebooks didn't really want to buy them. People that like sketchbooks, it wasn't high enough quality paper. Although it actually isn't really bleeding. And I'm drawing in this in a different method, method than I normally draw in sketchbooks. Because I saw online that a lot of artists suggest instead of drawing your pages in order, you draw them sort of open to a random page, draw something, close it, open to a different random page. So that way you don't either feel the need to really fill your pages before you move on or get really focused on one drawing and get distracted from what else, other things you're doing. And it's an easier way to make sure you're filling your entire sketchbook and not stopping halfway and never drawing in it again. Which I started doing this first page isn't done that way and it's a very sad page. But see the other problem is now I'm going to have a hard time finding a page that I've drawn on. Do, 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 do. See, I've already gone this far, and there, that's something I was doing today at work, which is the doodle while I was waiting for files to open, because that's what happens when you're a graphic designer. You spend half your time trying to open files, and that's a drawing of a mug that I did during my meeting this morning, because that's also what happens when you are in a meeting with graphic designers, is that, especially if the only people in the room are graphic designers, and the rest of us are on a phone call, like, nobody's in there to regulate us, so we just sit there and doodle. And we're still paying attention. We're just my one of my coworkers mug. I think those are the only drawings in here. Oh no, there's an American flag somewhere. American flag. Yeah. So clearly, right now I'm drawing everything in the corner, which probably isn't great. But I have that. Um. I thought I had other things I wanted to show you, but I don't remember what they were. I guess I could. You know what, this video is already 8 minutes. We're going to call it good. So those are some of my things that I usually carry with me. Well, not everywhere. I don't take my cross-stitching stuff and that necklace with me everywhere. But the notebooks and pens are things that I take with me to work every day. And yeah, I think you can learn a lot about people by the things they find important and the... Mm, sorry. By the things they find important and the, by the things that sort of matters to them enough that they carry them with them every day beyond like a wallet and things like that. I mean, and keys, everybody kind of needs those. And that's not, in my mind, that's not, I mean, it is important, but it's not like the things that define who you are. It's more like I always have a sketchbook and a notebook with me and pens and nice pens. Not like I don't usually use ballpoint pens. This is a fountain pen. So yeah, I find that interesting to see what people have around. So Alright, I gotta go because I have a meeting tomorrow and I have not prepped for it at all and it's already 7 o'clock at night. But I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!